Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to enroll Rigi user on Stripe payment. So I am selling multiple online courses and I am managing all these courses, the content of the course as well as the users with the help of LMS platform that is Rigi. Now for managing all the transactions and the payment related to these courses, I am using a payment gateway that is Stripe. Now my objective is that as soon as a course will be purchased by the customer on Stripe, automatically that customer should be enrolled as a user in that specific course in Rigi. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this we will have to set up the connection between Stripe and Rigi and that we are going to do without any coding and programming skill simply with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you also want to learn this amazing automation step by step for your business for that you have to come towards my screen. Welcome to my screen everyone. In this video we are going to learn how to automatically add a user in Rigi for a particular course whenever Stripe payment is received. So here I am an online course provider and I am managing all the courses, the content of the course and the users of the course with the help of Rigi which is an amazing LMS platform. Now to manage all the transactions related to the course which I am selling, I am using Stripe that is an amazing payment gateway. So my objective is that with the payment link which I have created for the particular course, PHP programming. So my objective is that with the payment link in Stripe which I have created for the particular course as soon as I'm going to receive a payment by the customer then I want to add that customer as a user in that specific course. So in order to automate this entire process I will have to build a connection between Stripe and Rigi and that I'm going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. Pabli Connect works, Pabli Connect works to help us to Pabli Connect helps us to build the connections between our work applications to automate all of our repetitive tasks without any coding and programming skills on regular basis. So let's get started quickly. This is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach by typing the URL pabli.com slash connect in our browser. After coming over here, we will find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So in case if you are already an existing user, just click on sign in to log into your account. But if you are a new user, you have to click on the sign up for free button. It will create a free new account for you. Just in two minutes. Also, when you will do that, you are going to receive 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. So as an existing user, I'm going to click on sign in. This is all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And now it has taken us towards the dashboard of our Pabli Connect account. On the dashboard, we will find all the workflows which we have created. And we can also create separate folders on the same dashboard to save these workflows separately and accordingly. Now, to create a new workflow, we will click on this create workflow option. And a dialog box is appear in front of us, which is asking us to provide a name to the workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name to the workflow. Enroll Rigi user on Stripe payment. After giving this name, I'm going to select the folder. So I have created separate folders for different kind of workflows. And because this automation which I'm going to create is related to the LMS. So here I'm going to select automations for LMS. That is learning management system. Then I'm going to click on create. As we have done that, you can screen. As we have done that, you can see a new screen is open in front of us, which contains two extremely important windows, trigger and actions. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts or principles on which the entire automation runs. The trigger says when this happens and the action says to this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can add as many actions to as we want. Let's suppose my objective is that as soon as a new payment is received by the customer from the payment link which we have created for the course in Stripe, then automatically we want to add that customer as the user in the course in Rigi. So for that, let's suppose we are going to take Stripe and Trigger and Rigi in action. When we are going to build the connection between these applications, we will clearly see that action is going to follow what the trigger commands. Because when the trigger happens, that means when the payment is received by the customer in Stripe, then only that customer will be added as a user in Rigi, otherwise not. So after understanding the whole concept of trigger in action, let us quickly start creating our automation step by step. So to start with the process, first of all, we will go towards our trigger step and we will select our trigger application over here. So our trigger application will be the payment gateway that is Stripe. Let's select that quickly. So when the payment will be received, we want to capture the response. And with that payment response only, we want to run this workflow. We want to start the workflow. So here our trigger application is Stripe, which is selected. Now we are going to select the trigger event on the happening of which event you want to capture the response. So 
I want that whenever the payment is going to be received, that means when the order will be placed by the customer for a particular course, then I want to capture the response. So new order will be my trigger event over here. Okay, as we have done that, now we have received a webhook URL and also we have received some instructions which we have to follow and we have to insert this webhook URL inside our Stripe account. So the webhook URL then is going to act as a bridge for transferring the data of every new order which is placed by the customer towards Babli Connect. So we have copied the webhook URL and then I will tell you exactly what we are supposed to do. So I will take you towards my Stripe account first of all. You, you can see that I am currently working in the test mode of Stripe. So I have turn the test mode on we'll go towards the developer section in your case you have to use a real account okay not the test mode now after coming on developer section we have multiple options over here among these options we have to select event destinations these are all the endpoints which are already created for different purposes now we are going to add a new endpoint over here that is a new webhook so let's click on add endpoint button over here we have to enter certain details so first of all in the endpoint url field we have to paste the url the webhook url which we have copied from Paply connect after doing this then we have to enter the description so for whichever reason you are setting up this connection you can give the description according to that or even you can ignore this field so let's say i'm going to give the description as new order okay just a random description then we have to select the events so let's click on this select events button from these options we have to select the specific event on the happening of which we want to transfer the response towards Babli connect so we'll go towards the checkout session new order means that when the checkout will be completed by the customer then the response should be captured so in the checkout session here we have four events so we will select checkout session completed when the full checkout session will be completed then i want to capture the response then the response should be shared towards Babli connect okay as we've done that let's click on add events and here we will simply click on add endpoint after entering all the details we have added the endpoint and it is successfully set up over here this is the summary of the webhook which we have created just now here the status is enabled the listening is for checkout session completed when the checkout session will be completed that means when the order will be fully placed then the response will be shared towards this webhook url which we have entered over here all right now we'll go back towards public connect here it is showing waiting for webhook response this means that now we have to do a test submission how we are going to do that by simply placing an order on our Stripe account. So let's go back towards Stripe. We will go towards the payment links. I'm going to capture the response. I'm going to collect the payments through the payment links, which I've created for different products and services. For selling the course PHP programming, I have created this separate link, separate payment link, PHP for programming. So I'm going to simply copy the URL of this payment link. I'm going to open it in a new tab and I'm going to purchase this course in front of you in order to capture the response. And because I've told you I'm working in test mode inside Stripe, so this is the dummy payment link these all are dummy payment links okay so we have opened the you can see that this payment link is currently in test mode so we are going to use some dummy details to make this payment let's start with the email let's say the email of the customer or the student who is purchasing the course is new student one zero at the rate let's say the full name of this customer is new student let's say the country of this student is india we have the address now i'm going to enter the city the pin code the state let's say is Madhya pradesh then i'm going to enter some dummy card details to make this dummy payment card number random expiry date and random cvv let me make the payment and as soon as we have done that, the order is placed. That means a new order is created for PHP programming course. So now we'll move back towards Babli Connect. And here you can see that the response is already captured. So in the response, we have first of all the type. What type of event is performed? The event which is performed is checkout session completed. Here we have the event and the event ID. Then we will scroll down over here. We have the payment status that is completed. We have the details of the customer who has purchased the product, the country code of the student. We have the name of the student, their state, their pin code, their address, their city. Over here, we have the status that is paid and we have the details. So among these details, we have also received the payment link. Okay, this is the payment link. And I want that when the customer is going to make the payment by using this link, then only I want to add that customer as a user in Riggi and not for any other reason, not for any other product. So because I can sell multiple products on Stripe, okay? I can use Stripe, that is the payment gateway, for selling multiple products or services. I do not want to add each and every customer into the Riggy account as user. I only want that when the customer is going to purchase the course PHP for programming with a specified link, then the customer should be added as a user in Riggy on that course, otherwise not.
So I will have to apply the filter condition in this workflow. How we are going to do that? For that, we'll move towards our action step. Let's select our action application as filter, which is an amazing feature of Fably that helps us to set the conditions in the workflow according to our requirements. Here, our action event will be filter values and let's click on connect. As we have done that, now we have to enter the details, label, filter type, and the value. So first of all, in the label, we will select the data from the previous response. That will be the payment link. Here we have the payment link. Okay, now we are going to match this payment link with the same payment link which we have used in order to make the payment. It should be same. So now I will take you back towards the payment link section of Stripe. We will open the payment link for this course, PHP for programming. And by using this payment link only, we have made the payment. And I want that by using this payment link only, I should capture the response for this course. So here I will simply copy the link. Okay, and I will paste it over here. Done. So here when I have inserted the label from my previous response, it has become dynamic because we have mapped it. When we map the data, the data become replaceable. So automatically with each and every new response, it is going to replace. But the filter type is going to be same because we have selected it from the options and also the value which we have given of the payment link is going to be same because we have entered it manually by copy and pasting. So it has become static now. So every time a new Stripe response is going to be captured for every new order, the label is going to replace. And if the label will not be equal to value, you, then the workflow is going to stop over here and it is not going to continue but in case if the label will be equal to the value then the workflow is going to continue further and the user will be created in Riggy. so let's check whether our condition is true currently or not and yes the condition is absolutely true so let's move forward let's click on this action step button and our object is to create a user in Riggy. so let's build the connection between Riggy and Pabli connect for that our action application over here which we are going to select will be Riggy. Then we are going to select the action event that will be import user. Let's click on connect. To build this connection, again, we have two options, add new connection and select existing connection. So if you already have an existing connection, you can go with that. But to create a new connection, what you are supposed to do, that I'm going to tell you. So you have to go towards add new connection and you have to provide a token. To get this token, you just have to go towards your Riggy account. You have to go towards the dashboard. Under dashboard here, you have the option of integrations, which you have to select in the integrations options. We have multiple other options. So so we have to select Pabli over here. You have to activate it. You have to enable it by toggling this button right. And then here we have the Pabli key. We have to copy it and we move back and paste over here. Done. In the similar manner, you have to build the connection between Riggy and Pabli Connect. Now, as we have done that, let's click on save. And here Riggy is successfully connected with Pabli Connect. To create a user over there, we have to enter the details. So you can see we have to enter full name, email address, phone number and other details of the customer. So I'm going to take you back towards my Riggy account. Now we'll go towards the user management section. These are all the users which we have for different courses. And when we'll go towards the product section, these are all the products which I'm selling. So these are all the courses. I want to create user in this PHP programming course. So now we'll move back first of all to whom you want to add as a user. I want to add the customer who has made the payment by the payment link in Stripe as a user in Riggy. So here I have to enter the name of that user only. So here in the Stripe response, we have received the name of the customer. So we'll simply map that. As I told you, mapping makes the data dynamic. So when we have mapped this name, it has become dynamic and replaceable. So automatically, whenever a new response will be captured, this name is going to replace. Then we are going to map the email address. So let's search for the email. We will map this email. And then the next, it is asking us the phone number. So let's map the phone number as well. Then, we, then it is asking us the product hash. In which product, in which course you want to enroll this user? So now, as I told you, I want to enroll this user in PHP programming course. We have to enter the product hash key of this course. So here you can see that this is the name of my course. Here we have all the details. And the next we have the offering key. The offering key is the hash key. So let's copy it and we will paste over here. Done. In a similar manner, you have to enter the product hash key. If you want to enter any validity for upcoming days of this course, you can enter it over here. And now it is asking us the send email option. So I have selected it as yes. Let's click on save and send test request button. And as we have done that, here it is saying that success, the student is successfully added as a user. So I'm going to take you back towards my Riggy account. We will go towards the user management. And here I'm going to search the student which we have recently created with the help of the phone number. So I'm going to search the phone number over here which we have received from the Stripe account already. Let me copy the phone number and we'll paste it over here. Let's search it. And yes, here we can see that a new student is successfully added with all the details. This is the phone number and the email. 
So here when we'll go towards the purchase section, we'll go towards the course section. We can see that this student is enrolled for this PHP programming course. All right, this means our connection is absolutely successful. And now every time a new order will be placed on Stripe, automatically the response for each of the order is going to be captured over here. If the payment which we have received for the order will be from the given payment link which we have selected, then only the person will be added as a user in Rigi for the course, otherwise not. So once we have completed this automation successfully, we have integrated the application let's test this automation whether it is running fine or not so once again I'm going to copy the link of this payment in stripe I'm going to open it in a new tab and with some other details now I'm going to submit this response once again so as soon as I will make the payment the person for whom we are making this payment will be added as a user in Rigi so let's say this time the email address of the student is demo59 at the rate let's say the full name of this student is demo user or let's say demo student demo student we have the address 34 new street let's say the city is Bhopal pin code state a random phone number the card details dummy expiry date CVV and we'll click on pay now as the payment is successful over here let's go and check whether automatically this new student is added as a user in Ricky or not We'll go towards the user section. Let's search the phone number. And yes, here we can see that this student is added as a user. And we have the same email which we have entered just now. Demo59 at the rate publicutes.com. Let's go to its purchase section. We'll go to our course section. And here the student is enrolled for PHP for programming course. This means our workflow is absolutely running fine. So every time a new order will be placed in Stripe, automatically the person will be added as a user in Riggy. So I hope this automation is clear to you and it is helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate multiple such amazing applications with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the rate pabli.com. If you want to ask any doubt, you can write us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to ask about the pricing, you can visit this website given over here. Do not forget to share our videos, like our video, and also subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.